If you guys follow my channel, you know that I work a full-time job and I am also a trainer. But I am a new trainer, so I work for myself. I did not opt in working in a big box gym. I wanted to start my own business so I could work for myself eventually. Um, so I started there around June when I finished my certification. And now I have four clients, which is exciting. So I have three clients Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I have one client on Tuesday and Thursdays. And so my schedule has become a little bit more hectic because like I said, I do work a full time job, but I'm there from 10 to five instead of 10 to six. I don't work the full eight hours. I work seven hours. So um, I'm grateful for that. But because my schedule is so hectic, I have to stay on my P's and Q's. It's not really hectic. It's just I'm busy. So I have to use my time. Use my time. Um, I got to have good time management skills. So um, I do like to make sure, obviously, that I go to the gym every day. That is a non-negotiable. So I wake up at 5 a.m. Um, but I have found myself waking up at 4 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, Friday because I have a client at 8 a.m. And so if I want to do my workout early enough and not have to rush, I have to wake up a little bit earlier. Which is why I got braids because I don't have time to be doing my hair every day. Like, I just don't. So you guys are going to see me with protective styles all winter. Um, so, so yeah, I, and then if you guys saw my workout today, I did hit. So I started a new workout split this week. Um, and so I have two leg days, two upper body, and then three cardio days. But I'm also doing cardio every day after work with my busy schedule because my job has kind of tried to crack down on us leaving our desk, which is crazy, um, but I understand. So yeah, I like to go on walks when I'm at work because we sit down all day. I sit at a computer screen all day and I hate it. I still get up because like, I'm not about to sit here for seven hours. I have to use the restroom, I have to eat. I need to get my blood flowing. So with that, I decided like, okay, so after I finish training, because it's been hard for me to reach my steps. Because before I was getting clients, it was easy for me to get my steps in after work because I was just going on a walk. But basically to kind of make sure that I'm still getting in my steps, I have been going to the gym in my apartments the last couple of days and doing some cardio. Also because I am still in a cut and I am still um, wanting to lose a little bit more fat. And so that is another reason why I am still doing a lot more cardio. So I have one high intensity, well basically like today I did hit and then I did 30 minutes on elliptical. So I will consider that like high intensity from the hit. And then like tomorrow is my rest day. So I'm going to walk 45 minutes on an incline. And then um, another day, I think earlier this week. Oh yeah, I ran like three or four miles and then I did some core. So yeah, um, that is pretty much my new schedule. And also I'm going to start training in the gym where I train my clients. I'm going to start training there two days a week just so I can continue to like learn the equipment so that I can um, have more options for my clients to do when it comes to exercise selection. So yeah, those are a couple of changes I've made. So right now it is 8.17. I don't have to be at work until 10, but the gym where I train my clients is 
it's only like 20 25 minutes away from my job but the fact that i leave at 5 p.m and then the traffic and i'm going from one side of town to another so it takes about it i give myself an hour because you never know what traffic is going to do so i leave 15 minutes early every day i leave at 4 45 instead of 5 p.m so in the mornings like right now all i have to do now is eat my breakfast so i'm going to leave the house at 9 a.m get to work around 9 20 9 30 and that way i have gained an extra 15 minutes well i'm making up that 15 minutes but i'm also um gaining an extra like 15 minutes so every morning i do try to go to work a little bit early just to make up for a lost time but now i'm gonna go make breakfast so in my last video i think i told you guys about yes when i did the 30 days of no bread no junk food i talked about salads so these are the strips that i've been using on top of my salads so they're buffalo style chicken strips and yes they are breaded um, and they have buffalo sauce on them and so I've been eating these on top of some greens with tomatoes no no tomatoes cucumbers carrots and a little shredded cheese and then I use this cilantro avocado yogurt dressing so I use this instead of ranch because it has less fat in it and um, it's less calories two tablespoons is 40 calories so I've been using this and yeah so this is going to be one of my um, one of my meals and then I have a chicken fajita bowl which is chicken um, chicken peppers and onions black beans and cilantro lime rice Okay, y'all, we are doing great on time. It is 9.06, 9.06, and I said I wanted to leave by 9 a.m., which is perfect. I used to leave at like 9.30, so yeah, I'm gonna get to work early today, and um, yeah, so I'm about to go to work. I'll be there till about 4.45, like I said, and then, um, Trying to see if my tripod is gonna stay up. Okay, tripod. So I wanted to say that whenever you want something in life and you don't know how to go about it, I say just do it, you know? Or if you, you know how to go about it, but you're just kind of like anxious because it's a lot like right now like my schedule is like very busy like and i'm also like picking up shifts at my job like on the weekends because i usually just work monday through friday but i'm also picking up shifts on saturday and sundays because i am wanting to save um some more money because obviously my end goal is to I'm not gonna say my end goal but my biggest goal for the upcoming year is to personal train full-time and it takes time it's gonna be a process it's a journey it's not a race excuse me and um, Yesterday I found myself like complaining a lot, like, oh my God, like I just wanna quit, like I, I hate this job. And what I've realized is that your actions are only a reflection of your thoughts. So like if I keep telling myself like, oh my God, I wanna quit, 
I'm gonna quit like I'm just that's what I'm gonna do and so today I woke up like you know what I'm not gonna complain I'm not going to say anything about quitting I'm just gonna create my exit plan today so that's my goal for today while I'm at work is to continue working on my exit plan like knowing how much money I want to have saved you know like how many clients I want to have things like that so I can be at least somewhat at least somewhat prepared to quit um but yeah so like although it's a lot i am i enjoy it because it's what i want to do and you just have to do it and you have to manage your time you have to be focused you have to um believe in yourself as well because i wouldn't be doing this if i didn't believe in myself if i didn't believe that i could be a trainer full time you know i wouldn't be training before and after work so yeah although my you know my schedule is busy I'm able to balance it out because I care and because I want to balance it out you know I find times to rest you know this weekend I'm going to go visit my family and to me that's resting and that's me not working you get what I'm saying so um, I am taking that time to take care of myself you know I got my hair done um, I'm sleeping every night you know what I'm saying so it's like it's not that I'm just out here hustling and bustle not taking care of myself because I am my health is my number one priority um, I called out of work on what Tuesday um, and I never call out of work but you know I took a sick day because I was I wasn't feeling well you know if you watch my last video you guys know I had diarrhea <laughs> so yeah I took that day to actually my dad ended up coming down so um, I hope nobody from my job was watching this but <laughs> But yeah, I, like I legit was having um, stomach problems and so I was able to, you know, just relax and um, take care of myself. So sometimes you have to do that because I work a lot. So it's nothing wrong with taking a day to take care of yourself. But yeah, I just wanted to say that if you wanted to balance your life and you wanted to take that leap of faith or do whatever it is you wanted to do, you want to do with your life. You just have to do it and you have to believe in yourself and you have to set a routine that works for you. And I'm doing what works for me. It's working. I'm not stressed out. I'm not going crazy. You know, I'm content and I'm happy um, and I'm focused. Hey guys, so after work, I came home. I had Chipotle for dinner, which was a waste. It really was not that good. Um, and then I had to meal prep. So uh, I finished my training test. I didn't get to train, or I didn't get to record training with my client because she's very, very camera shy. So I respected that. And um, we trained at six, got done at seven. And then I went and got us some food. And then after I ate, I had to meal prep. So I didn't go and do my cardio because it's 10 o'clock. And by the time I finished cooking, it was like 9.30. And tomorrow, I have a session at 8 a.m. So I, right now, I have 8 a.m. sessions on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So on those days, I have to go to bed early to make sure that um you know I'm getting enough sleep. So I'm probably gonna wake up around four forty five, four thirty, cause I well I'm doing tomorrow's my rest day, so I'm doing forty five minutes of um high incline walking on the treadmill. So yeah, I'll probably get up at five, get down there by five. I'm gonna go to the apartment in my gym. Go down there, probably work out around 45 minutes. And then as long as I'm back in the house by like 6.45, 7, 
which if I get down there about 5 30 I will definitely be back here by 6 45 so yeah I'm going to um go to bed now and make sure I get enough sleep so that I can get up early in the morning so I hope you guys enjoy this quick little vlog and um I will see you guys in my next video I'm going to bed because I have a long Friday ahead of me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.